If you want to get traffic to your website, one of the best things you could do is to see what your competitors are doing to get traffic to their website and do something similar to it. I want to read a quote to you that stands out to me right now. It says, success leaves clues. Be a better observer of the winners and the losers who are doing well and those who are falling behind. Take mental notes and say, I'm going to adjust what I'm doing based on what I'm I see. That's a quote. A lot of people think it's from Anthony Robbins, but it was actually from his mentor, Jim Rohn. And it basically speaks to seeing what is out there and is working. Success leaves clues. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how to find those clues of what your competitors are doing to get success when it comes to getting traffic to their website via SEO. Uh, hey, if you already like this video and some of the stuff that we're going to talk about, consider clicking on that subscribe and that notification bell for more good things like that. All right, let's get into the tutorial. We're going to be using a tool that is free. So everything we cover, you're not going to have to pay some monthly fee for like a lot of the other SEO tools. We're going to be using Uber Suggest, which just recently released a new update to it to allow you to do competitor analysis. And I'm going to give you a quick guide on how to do that in this video. Now I have covered Uber Suggest before in a prior video. I'll try to remember to link to that in the video description box down below. Okay. So first thing I was on Google and I did a search for dog training for beginners. So what you want to do is identify called keyword research identify those keywords that you would like to have your website be suggested when someone searches it and I'm pretty sure you've probably already done some of this to see your competitors websites being suggested and not yours so basically what you need to do is get some of your competitors website addresses if you don't already so I use this as an example if I had a website that I wanted to rank for dog training for beginners I came across this website right here I thought it was nice it's dedicated to dogs and it ranks there on the first page of Google so what I did is I took the URL you just got to pop it in right here and then click on search and then here are the results I got so right here is when you're the section here is when you're doing your own keyword research to see which keyword phrases pull in what traffic and the difficulty levels of ranking for them in this traffic analyzer section which it what shows when you enter in a URL this is going to be for this competitor analysis so I popped in this URL K9 of mine and it shows me some stats here first how many organic keywords that this website is ranking for they are ranking for a massive amount of keyword phrases and there's no surprise that they have 600 an estimate of 650,000 visitors on their website they're doing fantastic they're not doing any paid advertising it's another nice thing about this tool if a URL or a website is doing paid advertising it will show you the keywords that they are advertising on this is just amazing stuff especially considering you're not paying for it okay and so this shows you their traffic over time so you can see these guys are are definitely on an uptick now we get domain score backlinks this gives you an idea how many websites are backlink have backlinks to this website and how many of those domains are unique right here and then there's a arbitrary number of the value of that traffic right here okay you can see it here this isn't the really interesting stuff this is the interesting stuff right here these next couple of sections the first one is the top SEO pages so this is going to show you a list of your competitors pages on their websites that have the best rankings out of all of the pages on their website so you can see for this one it's this article right here and uh, then you can see right here the amount of traffic they estimate that that one page gets per month and it's not going to show you the backlinks yet that's going to come soon and you see their social shares so this is actually doing great with the limited amount of social shares I'm going to get back to this in a moment but I want to also scroll down and show you this section uh, so this is showing you the keywords that they rank for so if I clicked right here it's going to take me to show me 
all of the keywords that they rank for. And it's great. You see the volume of searches on that keyword. You get to see the position that they rank and the estimated amount. This is based on a formula, the estimated amount of visitors they get based on this one keyword search phrase in a month. It's pretty amazing. And when we drill down, you get to see it by country. So this is all the US traffic. Then we have Britain. We have all of the various top traffic generating com countries. So this is what I think is really cool. So if you want to outrank your competitors, typically your competitors are working or, or ranking for some piece of content they had written. And so you can see that right here, the five best dog foods for dogs with sensitive stomachs. But then check this out. You can click right here where it says view all. This is what's really amazing. You click on that. It's going to take a sec to pull in some more information on it. But what this is going to show you is the exact keywords that that article ranks for. So uh, let's wait a sec for it to come up. Okay, that took a few seconds uh, to pull up. So we can see, especially for this article and this URL, this is some amazing data right here. And I'm going to tell you how I'm going to wrap this and tie this all up together to see how you to, to show you how you could use this. Not for dog stuff, obviously. So you can see right here, I probably wouldn't have thought that there's 6,000 people searching for dog food for sensitive stomachs. And this is the article that they're being suggested. And then you have another variation on that phrase, best dog food for sensitive stomachs. I guess that's a common thing, dogs that have sensitive stomachs. Um, and so you can basically drill down and see all of the keyword phrases that this one article is ranking for. So how can you actually take this data and turn it into something that you can do to outrank your competition. And there's several ways you could do that. First, you'd want to see the, the content page on their website that is getting this good ranking. You want to look at the keyword phrases that it's ranking for. And essentially, you just want to make better content, include, may, but make sure you include those keyword phrases organically in that piece of content. So if a competitor has a 2000 page article where in, in Uber suggests is giving you this list of keyword phrases, well, why don't you go out and make a 3000 word article that's better, it's more shareable, it's more engaging, it's written better, it's written in a more friendly environment inviting way that encourages social shares and linking and make sure you have those keyword phrases. That's how you use this data to compete with your com with your com with your competitors. First, you need to see what they're ranking for, what keywords they are ranking that content with and just make better content. It really doesn't get harder than that. I mean, obviously there's some things that you could do to enhance it outside of that. A perfect suggestion is in this example of the five best dog foods for dogs with sensitive stomachs. I missed that part uh, when I was initially looking at it, that sensitive stomach part. Uh, then what you do is you go and you find list posts that are on other blogs where this article would be a great suggestion. And then you do that reach out and say, hey, uh, I love this article of yours. You, you might uh, see this article of mine. It would be a great addition for your readers et cetera, et cetera, something along those lines to uh, ask for backlinks. You're going to get rejected most of the time or you're going to get no response most of the time. But for those blogs that are really wanting to provide great content for their readers, they will. you will get people that will add these backlinks to it. That's really much all there is to uh, looking at what your competition is doing and to compete with them and to play that game with them. Remember, success leaves clues. When you're looking at what you want, find someone or a competitor that already has it and then do what they're doing better or different but better and that's how you're going to compete. That's how you're going to win. I think this uh, tool is actually fantastic uh, by, by Neil Patel. So essentially what he did is he bought Uber Suggests, integrated it into his website and has been making it better and better. And as you can see, this is fantastic information. And normally you'd have to pay a monthly fee to be able to have access to information like this so that you can compete better with your website to get traffic 
to your website. Hey, let's not overcomplicate SEO. Obviously, there's a lot of aspects to it, but this is where you should be starting is seeing what's out there and what's working in the phrases and then try to make better content using those exact same phrases in it. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and click on that notification bell. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.